So in today's episode, we are still going to continue trying out different local brands And today is going to be a savory edition and I'm super duper hungry right now So let's go Okay, so the first place that we're going to go to is Spade's Burger Hey, we are here Okay guys, so I'm finally ready to eat. I ordered their salmon sub burger as well as the shroom exception burger. To be honest, it doesn't look as good as my burger lab burger, even though this one is definitely way cheaper. Look at this. It just looks like more. It's not saucy enough. So let's try the shroom exception one first. For a 12 ringgit burger, I think it's just alright. There's nothing special to it. There's no special sauce to it. It's just like a normal burger. I'm gonna try the salmon burger. Honestly, the mushroom burger is just like meh. This is the salmon. I'm just grabbing a piece of the salmon to try. It's so nicely fried though. Let's take a bite of this. Prefer them to add more sauce to it because it's so dry. I'm gonna compare again, but Burger Lab's one is so saucy. It's just so good. This is honestly so dry. I'm kind of disappointed though because I've been wanting to try Spade's Burger for so long. Meh, it's not good. I'll stick to Burger Lab. They do have a lot of interesting side dishes. And one of them is actually some mushroom wedges. It just sounds so good. So let's try this. I honestly don't mind getting this as a side dish for a change. Mm. So that was like the shortest review ever on this series. As you can tell, I am not satisfied. So let's go to the next location to grab some food. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. Okay, so I don't know why did I think that filming in a car with food is a good idea because it is a freaking mess. Anyway, let's move on to the next business. Ta-da! So many of you recommended me to try pasta panas. So here we are. Super duper cute packaging though. Okay, so I ordered two to try. The first one is their yeah, chili mac and cheese. Look at that. Let's try this one. Honestly, it doesn't taste like a mac and cheese at all. It tastes like a bolognese sauce. Oh wait, oh, the name of it is actually chili mac. They didn't say cheese, so now it makes sense. So there's like a big piece of prawn here, like some mussels here. This is big. Let's try the prawn. I actually don't really know how to tear the prawn. I was like, suck. The prawn looks so fresh and juicy. Hmm. Honestly, it's alright. I wouldn't spend 17 ringgit on this to be honest. Like, it's just like a normal tomato sauce pasta kind of thing. Okay, so this is called the creamiest mushroom. And I got it in like the plain flavor, so without any meat. It actually smells so mushroomy and creamy. Can you see all the mushroom chunks? Hmm. This is good. If you want something creamy but you don't want it to be too milky tasting like a carbonara, this is actually just nice. The mushroom flavor really just subtle down the milky flavor. The more I eat it, the more I can't stop though. I love the mushroom flavor. I should have ordered the mac and cheese. I'm like craving for cheese right now, my god. Guys, highly recommend you to try the creamiest mushroom. It's so freaking good. So we've had burgers, we've had pasta, and now it's time for some pizza. So one small business that I've been meaning to try is Phil's Pizza. Super duper cute aesthetics by the way. So obviously I had to get the Margarita Pizza. It's actually a bit stale now because it's been like almost an hour. <laughs> it is definitely like a thicker crust. Can you see? I feel like this will taste so much nicer if it's still fresh. Now right now it's hardened a bit already, which is a shame. But the cheese is actually good. Though it's like loaded with cheese. I'm not sure whether can you tell. Even though it's already hardened, the cheese is good. So let's try the crust. It is like a very firm and thick crust, which is not my favorite. I like thin crust. But this is actually one of the nicest margaritas I've had. I would love to give this margarita pizza another chance and eat it while it's still warm and fresh from the oven. Yeah, pizza? You see this veggie? You see? They actually have a vegan pizza as well. So let's try this. It looks so good. We have like some mushrooms, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, and I guess this is spinach. Yep, that's spinach. Whoa, this is huge. Oh wait, this is like softer. So is this not the same crust that they're using? Look, it's so much softer. Can you see? Mmm, this is actually so good. When you bite into this pizza, right, all the juice from the veggies, everything just flows into your mouth. It's just like a tropical island going on. Okay, I'm not sure about you, but a pizza is definitely not a pizza without some chili flakes. Ooh, should we do this? This is how they do it. They fold. Mmm. Mm. 
It is definitely not as cheesy as the margarita because it's vegan. I love the crust. It just makes everything good. And all of their pizzas are actually really affordable. I mean, for such a big slice, I think it's only like 10 ringgit. Super duper affordable. So the last item that I ordered is actually their truffle mushroom pizza. When I saw the word truffle and mushroom, I'm just like, yep, I'm so I'm gonna get it. Let's try. It looks so good. Whoa. I don't know what cheese do they use but it's so good, it's so cheesy. Some pizza that I eat right, it's just not cheesy enough but this is so good. I love the cheese. I personally prefer a stronger truffle taste but it's just nice. Yeah, it's just nice. I think this is just perfect from all perspective. Crust, flavor, combination, cheesiness, everything. This is just like perfect. Okay guys, I'm actually like super duper. Wait, on that! We still have one last business that we are gonna feature and this time we're gonna jump into Japanese cuisine. Uh. I actually came across Kurimi Bites a month ago and I really really want to try their stuff so they basically make creamy mentai. 10 out of 10 for the aesthetics. Just look at this. So freaking cute. So they have like enoki mushroom, crab cake and of course salmon. I feel like this would be so much nicer if it's still warm and hot. Okay, so since I'm like super duper full and I can't really give a good review, I invited a friend to come. Just kidding, he just stopped by. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> they have fish. You take this part also. Yeah. How can you film? <laughs> so noisy. <laughs> What's that? Is it good? Number. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very, very flavorful. Honestly, I just don't think I'm much of a mentai person. I don't like mayo tasting kind of thing. I'm not much of a mayonnaise person. Okay, so this is the tempura bite. It basically has abby prawn, crab cakes. Let's just try the prawn. It's so huge. Look at that. It's not like your average tempura coating though. Mm. Look, it looks like this. It's not like the tempura one. I feel like if you mix everything together, it will be so nice. Be very nice. So the sauce aside, just look at the prawn. It looks so fresh and juicy. But the Japanese rice is really nicely cooked. It's just at the right texture. It's sticky. It's like a sushi rice. The rice is very well done. Okay, one last bite for the day. I'm so full. <laughs> I've been eating since 1.30. What yeah. time is it now? Five. It's like 5 o'clock. <laughs> Personally, wouldn't crave for this uh, if I'm craving for Japanese food. Food. Yeah, I'll crave for something else. Okay, final thoughts on creamy bites. I feel like it would be so nice if I am not so full and stuffed right now. I've definitely found a few new favorites in this video and I hope you guys will, you know, go and check them out. Go support some local businesses as well. And if you have any other suggestions, do DM me on Instagram. That is where I get your suggestions most of the time. And if you haven't watched my previous episodes, go check it out. Subscribe. I'll be doing so many more episodes this year. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.